am fam. One word. Tart. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. When's the last time I've mentioned that brand? When's the last time I've purchased anything from Tarte? It has been eons. Some of my favorite Tarte pro products were the Tartlet, the original one, and Tartlet in Bloom. Mwah. In fact, I'm debating even repurchasing those because that's how much I love them. Mine are old, they're dusty, they're busted, but those are pretty much the two things from Tarte that I used back in the day, and I love them. I'm sure there are a couple of other options, but we've all been on the internet. So we've seen everything with Tarte, all their antics and whatnot. However, fast forward 2023, they came, they came hard and they hit us with this new sculpt tape. So this is a play on their most popular product, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which I'm not a fan of that concealer. It's like shellac if you ask me. However, opinions are like buttholes. We all got them. So they have this sculpt tape here. I have been using this for three weeks, okay? This is a spin off of, of course, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Contour. This is one of my all-time favorite products. I love this tone. The hang-up is the component. It, it feels like maybe they fill it up halfway. And Miss Charlotte, she just, the shades, there's two of these, two. What are we supposed to do with that? Fortunately, this does work for me. Unfortunately, this ain't deep enough. I love the tone, I love the consistency. So when I saw that Tarte was coming out with their version of it, I think it might be maybe like $5 cheaper and they have five shades. You, you already know, I had to see what time it was. So I currently don't have anything on my face right now. Here, I've got some tissue. There's nothing, no foundation. I honestly have not been wearing foundation because my skin has been on point. I've been using new skincare. We'll get into that in another video, but I haven't been wearing foundation like that. Of course, I've been testing things out, but I've just been liking my face better without foundation. So I'll tell you what I have on really quick. Obviously, brows are filled in because I don't look like a naked mole rat. On my eyes, I have my Hourglass Volume 3 Ambient Lighting Palette for concealer because, like I said, I'm just into this less is more type vibe. I have on the Rare Beauty. This is the... What is the name of this concealer? I just call it the Brightening Concealer. It This is not a full coverage concealer, but I like it because it doesn't do weird things under my eyes. And then I set that with the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Powder. That's all. So here's what we're going to do. So when I wear these, like I said recently, I, I haven't been wearing any foundation. So I'm just going to wear it the way I've been wearing it. So we're going to start off putting contour charlotte tilbury on the right hand side so y'all can see the difference all right so that is what this looks like this is the most absolute perfect tone for me it's not too warm that is my favorite thing about it sometimes they can pull too warm on me and make me look really really red and i don't like looking red i do not have red undertones it just looks off so that is on the right side on the left side we're going to go in with the tarte sculpt tape and i have the shade deep bronze this is the second to the last of the shades and we're going to put that one over here so the tart is warmer but not in a bad way here is our contour for charlotte tilbury over here you can see i feel like honestly as far as where they fall they're the same level of depth so the same level of deepness this one is a little bit richer, but I think it's just richer because there's more warmth to it. All right, so I'll go ahead and blend these out the way that I typically do. So I just grab a flat top kabuki brush, one that I would use for foundation. And pro tip, if you are wearing foundation, blend out your contour or cream bronzer, whatever liquid cream, whatever you choose to use with that same brush because it will help with a seamless blend. 
All right, so as you can see, true contour, no warmth, deep enough. And my favorite thing about this formula is how easy it is to blend out. I have seen a lot of women say that whenever they use this, it goes away. It like disappears. This has been fair woman, medium. So on me, it does not disappear. I like it. And also I wonder if they feel like it's disappearing because maybe they're more so used to that hardcore Instagram makeup look. Like this is not going to give you that. This is going to give you a actual, let me, let me, <laughs> let me choose my words wisely here. This is going to give you what a contour typical should should be it it a contour is one of those things where when you look at someone it shouldn't be the only thing that you see it should just kind of be cohesive and go with everything else all right so now we're going to go ahead and blend this side out and again this is our tart side and this one is easy to blend out as well and i'm just pushing it into my skin I love how easy this is like just liquid contour in general I like that over cream just simply because they are easier to blend and I feel like they look more seamless so this is our tart side so you can see on the tart side that it is warmer so that is going to be the main difference between the two now if you're looking at me head-on you're probably not going to be able to tell that I have a different contour situation going on both sides just simply because it's not something that is oh so drastic all right so what i'm going to do next is i'm just going to go ahead and take the tart because that is our focus i'll put it here here and then i just grab a foundation not a foundation brush a flat eyeshadow brush all right and now we're just going to blend the rest of this out so with the tart you are definitely going to get more warmth but uh oh can you see me all the way it's not so warm to the point that it makes me look overly red all right so then I'm just going to top it off with some blush. I got blush options. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury blush option. And then I've got the Danessa Myrix. Don't worry, the videos are coming soon. I think I'm just going to go with, I'm going to go with this Danessa Myrix for today. And this is in the shade Jubilee. And this is the same yummy skin balm formula so cream then it dries down to a powder and it's just a beautiful flush of color on the skin and then for the rest of my face i'm just gonna go in with this nars powder this is the high tide shade and the soft matte powder This isn't gonna like give you coverage or anything. This is just more so for making sure I don't get crazy oily. And then if I want it to, well, the reason why I didn't is because I'm actually running my errands and going to the gym. But if I was not, I would have taken some of my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and just camouflaged my little dark areas. One, two, three, right here that I am aggressively working on trying to treat and I would have called it a day that's the only step that I do not do what do y'all think you cannot tell a difference once everything is on let me throw something on my lips and then we'll talk about it my thoughts and which one should you get all right, the rest of my little bit of makeup is done. You guys, this is honestly how I've been wearing my makeup for a good bit. If you wanna see my most recent, very simple, very minimal makeup routine, leave me a clapping emoji in the comments. On my lips, I have 
On my lips, I put on the new Fenty Gloss Balm in Riri. It's a beautiful mauve tone. I love it. So, which one? Which one should you get? So, oops, wrong side. Which one of these should you get? Now, I can't not mention this. Both of these brands have definitely fallen short at some point. Some more than others, Tarte, <laughs> okay? So we're, we're not going to ignore that. If you are someone who feels a way about it, if you are someone that feels a way that I'm even talking about these two products or these two brands and you don't wanna purchase from either and yeah, 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 cool, that's fine. You don't have to. I am not forcing you, okay? This is simply for the people that were curious. If you were someone who was not curious, you don't need to get finger happy in the comments talking about why, like, it's cool. So like, not to get preachy, but this is something that I say a lot. We have two ears and one mouth for a reason. Believe it or not, all your thoughts and ideas don't need to be out here into the world. I'm the type of person, especially, and this is mainly in regards to social media, whether it be IG, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever one that you choose to indulge in. If I see something that I don't like, you know what I do? Nothing. I keep going. I'm not going to give it any attention, okay? So, if you don't like either one of these brands, keep it to yourself <laughs> because that's not what the video is about, all right? Now, which one should you get? With Miss Tilbury, you get a whopping 0 0.4 fluid ounces for 40, is it either 40 or $42? For the Tarte Shape Tape, you also get a whopping 0.4 fluid ounces. So it's the same amount of product that's in each of these. I believe this one's 35. Hold on, let me let me fact check real quick because I'm not trying to give y'all the wrong information. Oh, All right, so you're getting the same amount of product in each, all right? Charlotte Tilbury is 42. Tarte is 35. Charlotte Tilbury comes in two shades. Tarte comes in five shades. That right there is gonna tell you all you need to know. Get the tart, okay? Although I love the undertone of the Charlotte Tilbury one, it's not dramatically different enough for me to feel like I need to stay with the Charlotte Tilbury one, just simply because when it's all said and done, by the time you put it on, you blend it out, you fill in your brows, you put on your concealer, by the time you do the full works, they're both gonna look the same. So for those that were interested, for those that were trying to figure it out, never thought I would say this, Tart is the winner. Down below in the comments, leave me your thoughts. Let me know if you're gonna test it out, if you're gonna pass, if you're gonna be negative, just go ahead and don't leave me nothing at all because I'm gonna delete you or if I'm feeling away, I might say something. The Lord is still working on me. Sometimes things do make a sizzle in my spirit, so therefore I cannot promise you what my reaction will be, all right? Thank you so much for watching. Keep it simple. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.